Class, here's the timetable application again in Raptor. What we're going to do is we're going to make it a little bit better. We're going to make it better by adding a subchart. We're going to take all of the code that runs the loop and put it in a subchart. And here's how we're going to do that. We're going to drag across the entire loop, which highlights it in red. Right click anywhere on that and select copy. Then right click on main and select add subchart. Let's call the subchart show underscore table. Now we're in the subchart. You'll notice that you can switch back and forth between main and your subcharts up here with tabs. Now here's the subchart, which currently has nothing in it, but I'm going to right click, paste, and I'm going to insert all that code that was in the loop back in the previous main part of the program. I'll go back now, and I'm going to delete all of this code. And then I'll add one more symbol, a call symbol. There's the call symbol. And can you guess what we're going to call? We're going to call the subchart. So if we double click it and enter show table, run our program, I'll run it uh, all the way to uh, after compiling. program says which table, as before. We'll go for the six times table. And there it is. Just this one call runs the entire subchart, runs all of this code. Subcharting allows you to organize your programs and make them modular. You can have blocks of code in a subchart and execute them when you want, when you need them, with a call symbol. It's a very effective tool.